I saw. I wanted to do a video today about my Black Friday, um, my Cyber Monday hauls, and things that I got for myself for Christmas. An excuse. Um, I do look like maybe my last video um, on my review on the Estee Lauder because this is actually the face that I'm um, reviewing and I have to keep it bare and minimum for the review. So if you guys haven't seen that review on the Estee Lauder, it is down low, below. Um, okay, but the Estee Lauder is also included in so this So I'm going to start well. first with um, this Kat Von D well, liquid lipstick. And this is the packaging. Call, the color is in Bachelorette. So I don't know if you guys can but see that. This is the color here. Do like a little swatch. Look at that. So let me rub it in some. So you see what it looks like against my skin tone. That is like, uh, once again, um, I did purchase the Estee Lauder Double Wear and Rich Caramel. And this was also from Sephora as well for the um, Cyber Monday. I actually missed the VIB Rouge sale i didn't get the email i feel some type of way like i really feel some type of like way like why didn't i get the memo like i didn't even know this is my second time missing it like i really do feel some type of way but i'm gonna stay on track here but um once again this is what i have on today i actually will list the review on this and the application at the bottom so definitely check that out guys um one thing i also did purchase was um, this was a while ago. I don't think I included this on any of the videos, but I will do a review on this as well. This is the Pro Longwear uh, Waterproof Foundation, Nourishing Waterproof Foundation from MAC. Um, I did have to get two colors that I have to mix together, but it is actually good too when it's summertime or more hot. You can wear the darker, sh I can wear the darker shade and actually come out better but once again I do mix and match a lot of foundations anyway because sometimes it is hard to find your perfect shade. I also got the step one by Makeup Forever and this actually is really good it's a base mattifying primer um, I do also have the Becca and the Smashbox pore minimizing I'll do a review on the three and give you my take on those and how I think they work on it too. Um, I'll go into more details on some videos for you guys, okay? Um, from the drugstore, I also got the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Once again, I do love foundations. I do like my face looking clear and all one tone and things like that. But this is one of the drugstore brands that you guys can look into and I'm in the shade 330 um, toffee caramel um, I did purchase this before and I think I got 355 but once again watching reviews and watching women on YouTube I tend to have gotten the color that mostly everybody got and like I said everybody looks more orangey to me personally and I got a shade lighter more of a cool tone and it actually matches so, a little better. One thing that I just needed in my life, because I do have highlighters from Becca. I do have Topaz, and I think I have um, Rose Gold. But what I could never find was ah, that Jacqueline Hill. Everything you have, Jacqueline, everything sells out. You know, but I got my hands on it. That champagne pop. When I say, girl, you do bring out the glow within us women. The, ah, just having it in my hand, I just feel the, the light shining down on me with the glow. Ah, okay, I'm going to stop. Jacqueline, girl, yes, yes, yes. 
Now, I do have the infallible matter pack. Hold on. Y'all almost let me forget it on you guys. L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Me and you, this is, this is my thing here. This here. Now, I had to go repurchase another one, which is, this is the one I had to um, repurchase. Because once again, I followed all the women that mostly look like my skin tone and you tend to have gotten the orange your shade which kind of i mean at that time it was more of the spring summer hot days so it did when i was more darker it did go with me a little bit um sometimes i did have to mix it with something else but as for the mattifying long lasting the i mean this is it if any of you need store brand, drugstore, makeup, this L'Oreal, and this, I mean, I think the last color I got was Coco. Like everybody get Coco. I mean, but, I mean, me and Coco, we was right at that. But I had to go get Classic Tan, which actually is more of a cool tone for me. By the time I add my powders and everything, it is just fabulous. So, it is coming into the winter days and, you know, our skin lightens up in the winter. And I also got the powder as well. And I believe I got the powder in, I mean, what color? Okay, well, I don't, you know, my glasses, but I don't see the color on here. If I do find out, I will list that for you guys below. Now, Smashbox, I also have another primer for them. This one is new. Um, as you can see, it's the travel size. And this, I believe, I got with uh, my points. And this is the photo finish primer. Now, so these two that items yet. I have here was given to me by one of my clients. And it is Dior Samples. So, um, actually these, the mascara, and this is um, Dior, um, Dior Skin Star in the shade 60, I believe. I've tried this on. I think it's not more of a matte finish, but I do like it. Um, it's good. The mascara, though... Um, I love my other Dior mascara. I'll do a review on the mascaras and show you. I actually want to show you guys my vanity and my collection. And I just have a lot for you guys. So just stay tuned. I'm so excited to be back. And let's do this. But um, I also have this NYX Full Figure Lush Lash Mascara. Um, this is new as well. I haven't tried it yet. And Buxom Mascara. I got this with my points. It actually came with two lip glosses, I believe two liners, and this mascara. So, um, to tell you the truth, where everything is right now that came in it, I have no idea. I did get another paint pot in Painterly. Ladies, if you ever buy cheaper eyeshadows, you can use this paint pot and then they actually make them pop up more. So this is something definitely to kind of look into. It's from MAC. Now, I did go to MAC um, looking for matte primers and mattifying things from them. And at first, they gave me this cream here. Not sure how to use it. Not sure what it's for, but it said it can go on before or after the makeup. Um... I have to kind of do a more review on it by itself to kind of see how it is and maybe look into it. And then I have this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. Now, when I was online, it says that this is like a mattifying primer as well. So, we will see how good it mattifies and how good it will do for the skin and keeping me mad. So once again, as you can see, I'm obsessed with things to keep this big area here nice and dry. Okay, and last but not least, I did get a sample from Sephora, which is the YSL Mascara. And I'm pretty sure I might be obsessed with this thing here. I'm just starting to get more and more into mascaras, but this 
here like this is a nice like little brush can you see that yeah but we will see guys but if it's anything in this haul that you would like to see or um a review on please let me know down below and i would definitely get that up for you guys as soon as possible so once again this has been my black friday cyber monday and holiday shopping spree for myself and i did get some brushes but i want to do that in a separate video of um my brushes which will be a sigma brush haul and um, give you a review on my brush collection. I actually have so many brushes. I had to kind of move some aside from my first couple brushes that I ever purchased. And it was time to kind of let those go. Even though they were my ride or dies for years. But it is time to upgrade and get better brushes to kind of get, you know, I would say get a better review. Or I mean better where am I to get a better application of my makeup? Um, I want to start freelancing and getting into doing makeup for my clients. So however way I need to start to build my kit, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to give you guys once again a tour of my vanity and what I'm working with. Okay, so um, just be prepared and get ready for some videos to be coming up soon guys so once again i want to do some reviews for you and um let you know on how the products has worked for me okay so thanks for tuning in this and i hope you guys have a good day bye